News One, I'm Kate Cagle, and on Sundays we like to go beyond the headlines. So leading tonight's show, new developments in the Andres Guadardo case. Tomorrow, the Los Angeles coroner's office is taking the extraordinary step of launching its own inquest into a shooting by sheriff's deputies. It's the autopsy of Andres Guadardo, you may remember, revealed the teenager was shot five times in the back. His family says Guadardo was working as a security guard at an auto body shop and they maintain that he did not have a weapon. The last time the coroner launched its own inquest was 1981. It was the case of a young football star arrested for speeding who ended up dead inside a jail cell and his family told me that inquest was pivotal in the case. He never became a hashtag because police pulled over Ron Settles decades before cell phone video and social media. But in 1981, Juanita Matthews says the black community knew through word of mouth to avoid driving through Signal Hill. The police had a, had a reputation for badly treating young black men. Her nephew, a college football star about to be drafted by the NFL, was later found dead in a jail cell. It was so devastating. Ron Settles became national news. Signal Hill police said the football star hanged himself with a mattress cover, but the family said he simply had too much going for him. Here you have a healthy college student, college athlete on his way to work to coach uh, young kids. The questions around the police version of Ron's death caused the L.A. County coroner to launch its own investigation called an inquest, allowing the coroner's office to subpoena witnesses and documents. An inmate testified he heard police beating settles and that there was no mattress cover in his cell. A jury determined the death was at the hands of another, though no one ever faced charges. It was to clear his name, that he didn't have drugs, that he wasn't on drugs, and that he did not take his own life. That was the main focus at that time. Juanita now runs the Springs of Hope Grief Care Center. She says Ron's death launched a series of tragedies in her family. His mother, her sister, died of a broken heart. Until we agree that racism is real, that it does exist, I, I just don't think things will change. As a pastor, she dedicated her life to helping others cope. Time and again, she's seen the failing of man. Instead, she's put her faith in God. Ron's family recently established a foundation in his name, and the inquest into the killing of Andres Guadardo starts Monday. Now, in that case, the sheriff's department does not dispute that a deputy shot and killed the teen. The dispute is what happened in those final moments and whether Guadardo was armed. The coroner already went against the wishes of the sheriff by releasing the autopsy that showed the teen had been shot in the back. I spoke to Sheriff Alex Villanueva earlier this month about the inquest. Here's what he had to say. In, as far as the coroner is concerned, the manner mode of death has already been determined by the coroner. It's kind of like the horse is out of the barn already. They, they could do the coroner's inquest on future things and we welcome the opportunity because we have nothing to hide. But what they did is when they released that coroner's report on the Guardado case, he actually harmed the investigation because the, the key witness who was a deputy had not been interviewed yet. Of course, this all is not happening in a vacuum. It's part of the larger discussion on accountability and whether the sheriff's department should be investigating itself when it comes to these shootings. I'll be following the inquest this week, so keep checking in with us here at Spectrum.